Hey everybody, this is Genki, author of How Nintendo Lost My Loyalty, and this is your audio recap. I'm joined by Steve Bogda here. Hello. And we're going to talk about this article. So I wrote this article because I'm very upset with Nintendo. Because I bought a 3DS, and then they dropped the price on me, and now they're about to add... They have this add-on coming out now. It was a rumor, and now it's confirmed. They're, they have an add-on that's going to add a second thumbstick, and it's very possible that by the time that you all hear this, they will have announced a redesigned 3DS with triggers like L2, R2 buttons, and just a bunch of other amazing things, and really trying to fix what did not work with the 3DS so far, which seems to be pretty much everything. And, you know, a part of it was on me. You know, I should have been more wary about buying a 3DS because my policy had been for the longest time, I am not spending $250 on a handheld, which is why I didn't get a PSP until I found a used one for like 120 bucks. I was just, I refused to pay $250. And then I just, here I had some money. I had some money from work. And I was like, you know what? Zelda's about to come out for this thing. Resident Evil looks like it's going to be fun. And I really want to support Mega Man Legends 3. That was, that was my biggest thing. Is I really want a Mega Man Legends 3. And if I need to, you know, buy a demo of it to tell Capcom I want that game to be made, then I am going to do it any way I can. And so it was supposed to be coming out real soon. So I was just like, all right, I'm going to get a 3DS now. I might as well do it now. I, did, I figured in the future there would be redesigns and things like that. But apparently now it's just going to be about six or seven months after the console was released that, you know, drop it $80 and completely redesign it. And I just... Well- I think you know my opinion in regards to your status. You're an idiot. Well, <laughs> shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have yeah. wasted your money on your 3DS. I mean, my 3DS came from Nintendo. I don't. I would not have spent as a consumer three hundred fifty dollars on a 3DS unless I owned a gaming website, which I just so happened to do. And even then, I didn't buy it. And I don't. I think I might have even considered not buying it. So I knew this was gonna happen. Um, and I knew this was gonna happen from the moment they announced that the system was gonna be two hundred fifty dollars. That was a mistake. You cannot release a system that is $250, a handheld system that is $250, uh, with no games coming out. And the only game that does come out in the foreseeable future is a 12-year remake. And it can't be rooted in a gimmick that we aren't sure if people like or dislike. Which Nintendo wasn't sure if they liked or disliked at E3 2010. Like, the, 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 even though 3D was profitable at the time, it might have just been a fad. They risked their handheld... Uh, brand on what is essentially a fad and you don't know i mean the slide pad looks like it looks weird but it looks like it'll work for what it's trying to do it feels fine like when i I, when i played zelda with it it felt fine it felt better than the nub on the psp which really gave my thumb cramps whenever i played stuff so i mean i like it better but the d-pad's terrible on it and then there's just all these other little flaws that i find out about after I picked up mine, like, oh, well, the D-pad paint finish is really bad, and so the paint's warping and flaking off of that part. And whenever you open and close your 3DS, because the, the lower screen is smaller than the bigger screen on top, then it's going to make all these scuff marks on it. So I had to make a bootleg solution where I took my Xbox 360 nubs, at, like the little feet nubs, and put them on my lower screen to keep the top screen from hitting the, the lower screen and scuffing the it up. Yes, feels rushed. When you hold it, it, it feels rushed. It, it looked is rushed. rushed. It, it is rushed. I agree. I just, I put my faith in Nintendo because the, the reaction that people were having to the 3DS was very similar to the reaction people had with the DS and the Wii. People, when the DS came out, people were like, what? Two screens? That's going to be ridiculous. That's really stupid. Why? And it became incredibly successful. It had a ton of great games. It's a great handheld. And then the Wii came out, and people were like, that looks stupid. And it ended up working pretty well. And everyone else is trying to do it now. I mean, I don't enjoy the 
the Wii's controls as much as I thought I would because, you know, they had a lot of promises there that they did not come through with until now, right at the end of its life cycle. They're like, oh, we'll have, it'll have one to one, you know, sword play with the Wii Mote and you'll be able to do that in Zelda. And yeah, we're finally getting that now after they had to recreate the controller. And I guess maybe those were signs that I should have remembered and picked up on when I was thinking about getting a 3DS. But I decided that, you know what, Nintendo has not screwed up before they, I will just put my trust in them. And I felt like I got reamed in the asshole. Uh, that's a bit of, that's a bit of an extent. I mean, they're trying to fix the problems, Kanky. They're not, you're going to wind up being much happier than Nintendo's trying to fix their problems. They're just being like, yeah, well, we did this, deal with it. Like, <laughs> I mean, they are in some sense telling you that to deal with it, but they're trying to help you. They're trying to help themselves. They're not. They're not helping me by lowering the price of their system, and then instead of getting giving me my money back or giving me at least I don't know eighty dollars for the eShop, they're giving me ten games that I either already have or do not care about. Mm-hmm. Like I have Mario Brothers, I have the Zelda games, I have. Most of those NES games they're giving me, and I have most of those Game Boy Advance games that they've already confirmed, and that are the rest that are rumored to be coming out. I have all those. It's so pointless to me that they do it this way instead of trying to give me back my money and I, let me let at least let me buy stuff. You know, it just at the same time we're entering some gray areas, and we have to see what happens before we say Nintendo loses your loyalty. Because let's be honest, Kinky, you're gonna buy the new 3DS Lite if it's good enough. I will buy the 3DS Lite after it has a good library of games. I, I'm, I've, I've made a new vow. I'm reinstating my never buying a handheld that is over $200 and going up to $250. So I guess I'm not buying a PSV. Um, and I'm also not buying another Nintendo product. Like, doesn't include games, but I'm not buying another console product until I see that there's at least there's a a good library for it already in place like I am just not even going to bother with the Wii U I already wasn't going to buy it but now I now you're setting the line the line yeah and you know this is it's a tough subject for you I understand that you feel a bit betrayed but I mean, I'm not a Nintendo PR person. <laughs> I mean, they're in the wrong. It was terrible. Like, that was, this is a, an abortion of a problem. Yeah. But now it's time to move on for right. Nintendo. It's time and on. hopefully, you know, now you finally learned your lesson with Nintendo. <laughs> I, yeah, I definitely have. And they have lost my faith. I don't even, I don't believe in them anymore. I don't believe that they can stay alive anymore just because of this whole fiasco maybe it was similar with the virtual boy when that came out maybe i feel like that was a worse situation but i'm just at this point where i i see them going the way of sega okay relax no no i i think that's definitely possible it's possible it's not out it's also possible (laughs) anything's possible so I just don't think there's enough evidence for that route. I mean, it's not looking good, but I don't think we could just think, oh, the apocalypse. Nintendo always comes back. Well, <laughs> they will the, come back. the Wii U is in pretty bad shape already, though. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say what's in bad shape for it, but we'll find out. Yeah. And it's it's an interesting topic. If Nintendo loses the loyalty consumers, that's it, because that's all Nintendo really has. Like they're like that. That was always something Nintendo always had. Was that people who play Nintendo games, like myself, who grew up with them, are going to stay loyal to them. But maybe that'll change soon. And this was your audio recap.